What's wrong with the statement? Violent television causes childhood aggression. The answer is that violent television may or may not be the cause of childhood aggression. Just because two phenomena are correlated does not mean that one causes the other. Therefore, correlation does not imply causation. A correlation is the measure of strength, direction, and degree of association between two variables. A correlation between two variables can arise because both variables are related to some third variable that to some degree affects the two variables. Or in other words, a third variable may be the cause of the correlation between the two variables. In order for one to accurately establish a cause, any possible explanation for the observed correlation would have to be ruled out. Unfortunately, many people fall into the trap of believing false claims of causation implied from correlation. One of the causes of this problem is the media. The following example given was an actual news article published online. The author, Kay Jones, states, Watching violence depicted on television or as part of a video game increases the chances that the viewer will be more aggressive. Jones concludes that the results of conducted studies based on violence depicted throughout the media are proof alone that for the cause of childhood aggression. She based her assumptions upon the results of a study conducted by L. Raoul Huseman, who studied subjects' television use over a 50-year period. Jones attributed the cause of childhood aggression to violent television, noting the correlation between the two. However, Huseman's findings did not support her conclusion. In his study, 396 randomly chosen 7- to 9-year-olds were instructed to watch either a violent or nonviolent film before they played a game of hockey. Observers then rated the subject's aggressiveness towards others in the hockey game. It was found that seeing a violent film stimulated more aggressive behavior than seeing a nonviolent film. While Huseman noted the strong relationship between violence on television and violence in childhood behavior, he concluded that the relationship was moder moderated by the nature of the media content and the social influences of the individual. He was not declaring that the observation of violence on television caused an increase in aggression. Rather, he was suggesting that violence in television increased the risk of violent behavior by the observer. Huseman also suggested that the correlation between the two variables was moderated by other variables, such as social influences on the individual watching the violent television. His study was significant, significantly important in that it depicted a strong correlation between violent television and childhood aggression. However, nowhere in the article did it imply that violent television was a direct cause of childhood aggression, as Jones implied in her article. As consumers of this information, it is imperative to understand the difference between correlation and causation and not mix the two, even if it sounds plausible. Doing so will lead to a false conclusion.